I uh, grew a good group of friends that I do like to ski. And I only get up a couple times a year, usually groomed runs and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So uh, I invited my little brother. Zac Efron is an actor and singer from the United States. He started acting professionally in the early 2000s and came to fame in the late 2000s as Troy Bolton in the High School Musical trilogy. He rose to prominence as a child actor with an unforgettable role in this musical trilogy. Since this early success, he's appeared in a range of film and television roles. He also appeared in the musical picture Hairspray and the comedic flick 17 Again, with prominent performances in films New Year's Eve, The Lucky One, Neighbors, Baywatch, and The Greatest Showman, he's ascended to widespread recognition. For the Netflix online documentary series Down to Earth with Zac Efron, he received a Daytime Emmy Award in 2021. Dude, we can, we can ski, we can go cat skiing at 6 a.m. tomorrow. And I'm like, thinking about cats and how that applies to this. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Zachary David Alexander Efron, but is also known as Zach Efron. He was born on October 18, 1987 in Coleman, Alabama, making him 34 at the time of this production. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall. His hobbies include outdoor sports like hiking, snowboarding, and rock climbing. But he also enjoys playing the piano. Zach's favorite movie is Dumb and Dumber, and his favorite animals are dogs. However, Zach Efron's main interest is to focus on his fitness and diet. He has a YouTube channel, which he launched in 2019. The channel often features Zach's brother, and content tends to focus on either outdoor survival or fitness and diet. As of 2020, the channel has 1.26 million subscribers. Efron and Vanessa Hudgens started dating in 2005 during the production of High School Musical and started dating approximately two years later. However, the two split up in December 2010, and in September 2014, Efron started a romantic relationship with model and entrepreneur Sammy Miro. So here's like where everybody on the way down the mountain, they were like, you can minorly tear your ACL, you can majorly tear it, it can completely disconnect. What you don't want is a disconnect. Efron was born in the California town of San Luis Obispo and eventually relocated to Arroyo Grande. His father, David Efron, works at the Diablo Canyon power plant as an electrical engineer, and his mother, Starla Basket, works as an administrative assistant there as well. Efron has a brother, Dylan, and grew up in a middle-class home, as he has characterized it. His surname is Hebrew in origin. Although Efron was reared agnostically and didn't follow religion as a youngster, his paternal grandfather is Jewish and he has characterized himself as Jewish. Efron has previously said that if he received a B instead of an A in school, he would freak out as well as he was a class clown. Following that, Efron worked in the Great American Melodrama and Vaudeville theaters and started taking singing training. Gypsy, Peter Pan, or The Boy Who Wouldn't Grow Up, Little Shop of Horrors, and The Music Man were among the productions in which he appeared. Robin Metchik, his theater instructor, suggested him to an agency in Los Angeles, the mother of actors Aaron Michael Metchik and Asher Metchik. The creative artist agency subsequently signed Efron. In 2006, he graduated from Arroyo Grande High School and was accepted into the University of Southern California, but he chose not to go. He also played in 2000 and 2001 at the Pacific Conservatory of the Performing Arts, a theatrical group based out of Allen Hancock Institution, a community college in Santa Maria, California. At first, Zac Efron's career started with minor roles in various TV shows, such as ER, Firefly, and The Guardian. In 2004, Zac booked his first recurring role in the show Summerland, and he took a more central role in the show's story by 2005. Miracle Run was Efron's film debut in 2004, and he was nominated for a Young Artist Award for his performance. 2006 was a major year in the career of Zac Efron, as it marked the release of High School Musical. To this day, many of Efron's fans consider this his best film. It certainly put him on Hollywood's radar, and Efron became a major hit among teen audiences. 
When the film was released on DVD, it became the fastest selling TV film at the time. Next came 2007's Hairspray, another successful musical that achieved impressive box office numbers. Disney fans were delighted to see Zac Efron reprise his role in High School Musical 2 in 2007 and again in 2008 with High School Musical 3 senior year. In 2009, he played the younger version of Matthew Perry's character in 17 again. From 2009 onwards, Zac Efron made an effort to branch out and shake off his reputation as a child actor. He appeared in Me and Orson Welles, a film that premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival in 2008 before a wider release. Charlie St. Cloud was Efron's next film in 2010, and it was a box office success despite receiving negative reviews. After appearing in a more mainstream film with 2011's New Year's Eve, Efron joined the cast of Liberal Arts, a 2012 independent film that received positive reviews. That year, Efron also appeared in Paperboy, a film that was a critical failure by most standards. After lending his voice to the animated film The Lorax, Efron took roles in films like The Lucky One, Parkland, and At Any Price over the next few years. Zac Efron appeared in his first romantic comedy in 2014 with That Awkward Moment, a film that received mostly negative reviews. 2014 also saw the release of Neighbors, a movie that portrayed Zac Efron as a bad boy that was at odds with his Disney characters in the past. The film paved the way for more mature roles in the future, such as 2015's We Are Your Friends and the 2016 adult comedy Dirty Grandpa. That year, he also reprised his earlier role in Neighbors 2, Sorority Rising. During the next period of Efron's career, he took major roles in films like Baywatch, Beach Bum, and Extremely Wicked, Shockingly Evil and Vile, in which he played serial killer Ted Bundy. In 2019, it was announced that Zac Efron would star alongside his brother in a survival-slash-outdoor reality TV series called Kill the Efrons. That year, it was also announced that Efron would voice the character of Fred Jones in the upcoming Scooby-Doo animated film. Besides Zac Efron and his brother Dylan, also created their own film production company called Ninjas Runnin' Wild. The company operates under the Warner Brothers banner and has played a part in films such as Dirty Grandpa and That Awkward Moment. In addition to traditional films, Ninjas Runnin' Wild also focuses on content released in a digital format. Brand new skill set. Sort of had. To, it's not like riding a bike, really. It's not yeah. like you just kind of, you know, always remember how to do it or anything like that. Um, I had to read, learn how to dance. His per movie income is over seven million dollars on average, and takes one million dollars for attending any event on average. But his monthly income is almost a million dollars, and his yearly income is eighteen million dollars approximately. Most of the income comes from his brand endorsements, Pen Shop. His good looks, impressive acting skills, and fascinating expressions have helped him achieve so. Zac Efron's net worth is estimated to be around $25 million. Zac Efron has officially left his home up high for the land down under. After reportedly buying a property in Australia, the actor and host of Netflix's Down to Earth just sold his scenic spot in the hills of Los Feliz for $5.3 million. He'll walk away with a nice profit compared to the $4 million he paid for the home in 2013. The property enjoys a hillside perch in the Oaks, a celebrity-filled neighborhood on the west side of Los Feliz that sidles up against the Hollywood Hills. Views are the main draw as the home features walls of glass, terraces, and multiple outdoor spaces overlooking the city below. Cars you'll find in Zac Efron's garage include an Oldsmobile Alero sedan, a Mercedes G-Wagon, an Audi R8,
an Audi S5. and an Audi A6.